Prince Harry's memoir is reportedly written and a finished manuscript has been signed off by lawyers, a source has claimed. The Duke of Sussex has been working on a tell-all autobiography with the help of ghostwriter Junior Moringa, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author, since 2020. Details of a potential publication date for the book have now emerged. A publishing source said, the manuscript has been finished and gone through all of the legal processes. It's done and out of Harry's hands. The publishing date has been pushed back once but it is on track for the end of the year. Harry's publishers, Penguin Random House, are now trying to get the memoir out for the Thanksgiving and Christmas market in the United States, the source told The Sun. According to the outlet, Mr. Moringa likely completed the manuscript earlier in the summer. Prince Harry first revealed he was writing a book in July 2021, confirming the memoir would touch upon the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him over the past four decades. Saying he was speaking not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become, he promised to unpack the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned as a member of the royal family. Penguin Random House said at the time, in an intimate and heartfelt memoir from one of the most fascinating and influential global figures of our time, Prince Harry will share, for the very first time, the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him. Covering his lifetime in the public eye from childhood to the present day, including his dedication to service, the military duty that twice took him to the front lines of Afghanistan, and the joy he has found in being a husband and father, Prince Harry will offer an honest and captivating personal portrait, one that shows readers that behind everything they think they know lies an inspiring, courageous and uplifting human story. The fresh hint as to when the memoir might make it to stores followed widespread speculation that the work's publishing date had been pushed back after royal insiders were surprised that the book does not feature on a list of the publisher's upcoming releases. The as-yet-untitled memoir, whose content could bring further headaches to the firm, had initially been penciled in for an autumn 2022 launch. A royal insider said, if this book's coming out this year as originally planned it should be in the publisher's marketing and promotional list, unless they're planning a surprise or there's been a delay. Its omission has raised lots of eyebrows in royal circles. The continued mystery over the whereabouts of Prince Harry's memoir seems to have led to an outbreak of optimism at Buckingham Palace, where family and courtiers are likely worrying what fresh hell is about to rain down upon them. The source of this optimism is based around the somewhat flimsy notion that no one knows if and when the book is coming out. Penguin Random House had said the book was due out in the fall, but it's not on its upcoming list of books. It's being ghostwritten by author Junior Moringa. And Harry has said of it, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. A royal insider told The Sun on Sunday, if this book's coming out this year as originally planned it should be in the publisher's marketing and promotional list, unless they're planning a surprise or there's been a delay. Its omission has raised lots of eyebrows in royal circles. Given it's such a huge property, the possibility that the publisher could be planning a surprise drop to maximize publicity is a distinct possibility so any soothed nerves at the palace may soon start jangling again at what Harry might be about to dish or bitch about, which could affect any hopes of a reconciliation with brother Prince William and the rest of the royals. Indeed, a spokesperson for Transworld, part of Penguin Random House, told The Sun on Sunday, we don't put every book on the list so there is nothing to be extrapolated from that. Harry this week won the latest round of his and Meghan Markle's legal actions against associated newspapers. Markle's